to Vietnam. On Friday morning I left England at 11 o'clock and 12 hours later I landed in Vietnam at six o'clock in the morning. Things like, you know, like certain aromas, like the how they like trigger certain memories and like it was, as soon as I stepped off the plane, it was kind of like all those memories were flashing back of just, you know, walking the streets or being in this house as a kid. And like, I'm so glad I'm back here. I can't believe I've left it so long, but I am really excited for the two weeks ahead. So since then I've been like kind of taking it really easy because the jet lag is just insane. So we got to my nan's and we had to settle in. Couldn't really just sleep, which was the most annoying thing. I had a nap. Uh, don't know if that was a good move or not, but I had a nap. And then my mum woke me up and she said, let's go get our hair washed. And we got our hair washed. I got a facial that like lasted half an hour and oh my God. It was so good. It was just what I needed after like a 12 hour flight and just stress. Oh yeah, but about the flight by the way, like I was really nervous and really anxious about flying this time. For some reason, every time I thought about it, my stomach would turn and I've never been like that before. I used to travel all the time and being on a plane just never fazed me, but it's probably because I haven't traveled in like seven years that I got a little bit anxious during takeoff and landing, but it was fine. I mean, didn't throw up so that was just uh that was the main thing so that was really nice and we just chilled out and had some lunch with the family yeah we didn't we, we really didn't do that much yesterday it was more about tackling the jet lag more than anything else it's like when you come from england to like the other side of the world it's just it just totally throws you today we went to confirm our tour to thailand for tomorrow um, and we also went to bantan market which is a massive tourist trap for tourists that love to shop. Um, so we just had a look around there. Um, I didn't buy anything and I didn't film because my mum told me that there are gangs <laughs> that operate in Bantan Market. So I got scared. It's probably not true, but I got scared and I was like, nah. But um, after that, we went to uh, just get a drink at a cafe that was nearby and I had some freshly made mango juice smoothie thing and oh my God. It was so good, like I've been longing for a smoothie like that for ages and it was so good to get it again. Another thing that I just love about being back here is that when you sit in the taxi, just looking at the surroundings, like it's insane. And the traffic, Jesus Christ, it is dramatic. Like it's the most dramatic traffic I've ever seen. I have no idea what the rules of the road are, but I just understand that it's kind of cool to watch in a way. Cause it's like, am I gonna crash into someone? Maybe. And then we went to Bajil Market, which is where my aunties work and where a lot of my family work. Um, I thought it was going to be a five minute thing, but it turned into like a nearly two hour thing of just going around, seeing all the aunties, saying hello, like kind of just, you know, like just chatting. And like, it was really nice. Like I really appreciate being here and being able to see them again. The one thing is like, I understand enough Vietnamese to know what's going on in a conversation and know what that conversation's about and understand opinions about something but like I don't know enough of it that I can actually like engage and share my opinion on it that well like and it's really really frustrating it's, and I know it's because like I grew up around Vietnamese and that's how I learned it but when it comes to like forming a sentence together it's a complete foreign thing to me and it, it's getting a bit frustrating now um, but I'm really gonna try and push myself to learn more Vietnamese whilst I'm here so I can get a little better each time I come back and hopefully I will be good at some point <laughs> but um, no it's so nice to be around my family and it's so nice to see my nan again and um, it's just incredible that I have this huge family here um, that I don't see that often it's sad but I'm glad I'm here and I'm glad I'm showing my face at least um, and yeah I am really excited to go to Thailand tomorrow. I miss England a little bit and I miss my boyfriend a lot but it's completely worth it to be here and you know rekindle some relationships I had with my family like we have a laugh even though there's a language barrier we still kind of have a laugh so I'm really happy about that. So thanks for watching the first of my vi many videos in Asia and yes stay tuned 
um, for some more exciting stuff, I hope. Bye. Bye.